critical thinking or problem solving, creating or making. Call it what you will. We call it the Makerspace Challenge. Welcome, critical thinkers, problem solvers, UCA makers. I'm Mr. Green, you already know that, and I have a challenge for you. I know you guys have been working hard, Tinkercad, learning how to do 3D printing, and even doing some, some stuff with our Square One model, right? Now is the time we're gonna put all that together. It's time to get busy. Now it's time to flip that switch and get ready for competition. Guys versus girls, males versus females, no. It's make him versus make her space. Now it's time for the challenge. This is the cafeteria here at UCA. Students love hanging out with their friends and eating lunch in here. Our staff has noticed one huge problem and they need you to fix it. So, get those pencils ready, get ready to do some sketching. These are the sinks here in the cafeteria. So, the issue that the staff has found is that students aren't just pouring liquids down the sink. So, even though these are nice sinks for students to use, they're pouring food and other miscellaneous items in the sinks. So someone's got to clean it up. So what you need to do is you're going to design a cover where water and liquids will go through, but chunks like you're seeing in the picture will not make it through along with other items. I don't know about you, but I don't really like touching other people's food. At the end of this competition, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be the make him or the make her? Be careful, because your design is going to be judged by our celebrity judges with the following criteria. So are you guys ready to know how this thing's gonna be judged? Basically a couple parts. Part number one, functionality. Does it work? Does it allow liquids to pass through and the food not? Can you use it also to get the food out of there because you know there's gonna be some food sitting on top. So go with that. See what you can do. The more functional it is, the better the device. Item number two. Item number two, is creativity. I mean, does it look cool? How does it incorporate UCA into it? Did you use just the lettering? Do you have a mascot? What's creative about your design? Item number three. Item number three is the budget. Everything costs money. How much did it cost you to design this? Every time you mess up, if your measurements are off and you have to reprint, your budget's gonna go up. Budget is very important when creating a new product. Try to keep your budget low. Last item, item number four. Item number four, 
presentation. This is where you get up in front of our celebrity judges, pitch your idea, show them your product is functional, talk about how creative it is, and also prove to them that you kept the budget as low as possible. So, can you wow the judges? Can you get up in front of them and put a presentation together? We'll find out. With the clock ticking down, students rush to get into the groups, get to work. They only have eight one-hour class periods to get this project done, and every second is going to count. Can they get this done? Only time will tell. Miss Curtins didn't leave our students out to dry. She helped them with a handout to organize their thoughts and allow them the opportunity to figure out the advantages and disadvantages of everyone's design. As day one ticks down, the students get one more lesson in the criteria they must meet. You don't want to have to touch the food, right? And then what was the other piece? Day two begins. The students work furiously on their decision-making model handout. They're trying to get their sketches and ideas together. After they've discussed with their groups, Ms. Kearns gives them a little bit of a pep talk. As day two comes to a close, and after Ms. Kearns gave them directions on their final drafts, the students work as hard as they can drawing and labeling to get everything ready to be transferred over to the computer-generated CAD program, Tinkercad. Before we close day two, let's check in with some students to see how they're doing. So far. So far, I think we're doing really good. We just figured out our measurements and how big it was. That it was too big, and we were doing it and how big the sink was from across. But now we're doing it how big it is from the inside. Back to design. Well, our design is a circle with a 30th of measurement. And then we have the other side of the circle. Like how like it has like a like just a straight bottom and then it has a curve and, and 